Also looking ahead to later today, a former Rhode Island priest will face a judge. He's been accused of abusing a boy nearly 40 years ago. And he's joining a growing list of clergy accused of sexual abuse in Rhode Island. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish is live with more on how this charge uh, came to light. Kayla. Well, Father Kevin Fazette is scheduled to appear in Providence Superior Court today to be arraigned on a first degree sexual assault charge that was announced by the Attorney General's office earlier this week. Now, the alleged abuse happened sometime between January of 1981 and December of 82. During that time, Kevin Fazette was serving as deacon in Our Lady of Victory Parish in Hopkinton, as well as a chaplain at Rhode Island Hospital. Now, his last appointment was at St. Leo the Great Church in Pawtucket from 2004 to 2009. It was then in 2009 that he was removed from the ministry after state police said a credible allegation was made against him, though the statute of limitations prevented authorities from charging him at that time. However, the attorney general's office tells us there is no statute of limitations on first degree sexual assault. That's the charge he's now facing, which comes as the attorney general's office continues reviewing records of allegations provided by the Diocese of Providence dating back to the 50s. We always anticipated that in the course of that review, particularly if we were doing it the right way, that cases might emerge from that review, and this is the fourth case that has. But whether they came up this year or last year or 40 years ago, they are obviously equally important, and we're really committed to seeking justice on behalf of those victims. Now, according to the Diocese of Providence, there are 15 living, credibly accused members of the clergy. 12 News plans to be in the courtroom today for Kevin Fazette's arraignment, and we'll bring you any updates as soon as we learn them. Live in studio, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.